Hey, welcome back. It's uh, more Project Zomboid. A Rashad How? Let me just grab uh, Rashad.txt. Oh my god. Two books needed. Carpentry 5 and Forging 5. Boom, 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 boom. All right, we're back at home. We're sleepy. We're hungry. A little hungry. We need some more storage space. Um, what can we make? We can make a bowl of beans. Why not? Bowl of beans. Fresh. Uncooked. Cooking. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. Right. Let's uh, prepare a coffee as well. Get that in there. Put this in the back here, I suppose. Equip in both hands. Okay, the beans are done. And the coffee is done. Alright, good. Let's eat this whole bowl of beans. How are we doing? 78. That's a decent weight, actually. That's nice. And maintaining. Alright, perfect. Okay, empty bowl. Can go back in here. We're holding this axe. Put our coffee in here. It's just treat it like a like a like a thermos, like a little a little um, a little thermos for our coffee. Why not, eh? Why the heck not? Oh yeah, we we actually for once harvested. Can you believe it? We harvested some cabbages. And we put them in a freezer for later use. That's incredible. Uh, I'm, I'm so pleased with that. All right. Do we have any magazines that we haven't read yet? No. We have a spare foraging book as well. Okay. doesn't look like it. What do I have in here? Aha. All right, good. So this spare forging book can go in here. Oh, it's nice to have a bed. It is nice to have a bed. All right, I think tomorrow we're going to go check out um, that um, survivor house over by the school. It should be pretty um, busy over there, too. There's lots of zombies last time we were over there. Okay, good. We've read these. Make metal sheet, make small metal sheet, make a fishing rod and fix a fishing rod. This is a Angler USA magazine volume, I'm not sure. It's 6.30 in the morning. I'm not sure what the forecast is today. It looks a bit sinister out here, though. Let me just check the weather. It does look a tiny bit sinister, doesn't it? All right, that should be enough. I look a tiny bit sinister. 
Order 884 has finally been issued. Can you believe it? Okay, it's quite cold today, actually. Periodicals, cloudy spells. Any weather moving in? No. Okay, tomorrow. Some clouds, period of heavy cloud. Period of weather predicted to start in the morning, expecting light to moderate rain. So does that mean that it's going to rain this morning? Because of... Um, because it's not 8 o'clock. Is that definitely the cutoff? I mean, it's just a bit of rain, right? It's just a little... It's just a tiny bit of rain. Okay, let's take these chips with us. Since they don't really weigh too much. Nice. I just ate a, b a bunch of sardines. Any f any fun, exciting new neighbors? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go check out that survivor house. We know there's one, at least one in uh, Rosewood, right? The new radio day starts at 9 a.m. Until then, today's news is yesterday's. Okay. So, it is going to rain this morning. Basically. Because uh, we need to check the radio at 9. Okay, fine. All right, come on. Off the roads. We gotta keep these roads clear. I wanna be able to victory parade down here. Without anybody getting in my way. don't want to piss off Survivor Randy. No, you, you are correct about that. I don't want to... Supervisor Randy, you mean, not Survivor Randy. There's still more to get at the grocery store, but that can wait. Alright, so this place is not on this road. We're going to take the next road down. God, it's... I think let's just kill him as we see him now. We're, we're purging. Hello. I'm just going to check this garage really quick, since it's open. There's a couple empty gas cans. First aid five, which we don't need. This is unread. There's a peaked army cap here, too. Nice. Alright, I guess he can never have too many empty gas cans, right? Might as well take them. I mean, maybe you can. I've got a lot of empty gas cans here. Alright, we want to go down here. Hmm. 
We want to clear here as well. It would be nice. Good. There's uh, there's quite a few nasty bitches in this neighborhood, so we want to we want to take him down. dismantle some watches while we're here too all right it's like we got another a couple of uh, other neighborinos here too this one's got an axe in its back nice bonus it's in really good condition too score huge score that's great yeah free axe absolutely all right it's quite busy up here down. Let's see if they got anything in here. Um... I just want to check these bodies, because one of them had, I think, a knife in them. Yeah. Alright. Let's check the garage first. There's some uh, empty gas cans. I'm in. Key. We'll take the uh, the broken axe home with us. We can give it a repair. We got some wood glue. Don't need those. There's a civilian bulletproof vest here. Holy crap. I've never seen one of those. There's a spike. Oh, yeah. Wood axe, too. Nice. All right. Let's take all of this stuff. Some nice weapons. There's a bunch of rotten food in here. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else here. There's free planks if we want them. It's a small house, to be fair. I mean, we got a couple of weapons and stuff. What can you do? Eh? Nothing in the garage, either. 
There's a couple of empty gas cans, but I think we're good for gas cans now. I don't think we need any more. How's this uh, axe looking? It's okay. We could probably do a bit more killing, I would have thought. Sledgehammer, hunting knife. So let's put all this stuff in here. Wood axe is going to be great for chopping. Not having to use uh, our normal axes for that. So this is done. Okay, I think what we'll do is drive around and see if we can find some more. So there's some pretty good loot in these boarded up houses, isn't there? We need to find some generators and stuff too, but that is something that will just happen. I think as we're, as we're going around. Alright, some friendly neighbors that we can uh, kill here too. They don't look friendly? No. They don't. You're right. They look mean as heck. Butter knife. Mean as damn heck. They look damn mean. Okay. Some more friendly neighbors here. Okay, not our not our best work. A couple of them got into the road. One of them had a hand fork. Any watches? Yep. And some reading glasses too. What the heck is a hand fork? I don't know. Alright, we're looking for boarded up houses. Survivor houses. Because we can get some decent stuff out of them. And we're just cleaning up the neighborhood as we go as well. This guy's got a knife, a knife in his shoulder. I feel like I've had a knife in my shoulder for like a month now. Let's eat half this bag of chips. All right, these look fine. These ones look fine. Not boarded up. We're just by the school now. It's not much over here anymore. That doesn't seem to be boarded up. Neither does this one.
and a bread knife. Whoops. Just being lazy. That does not look boarded up. bit dangerous here by the trees, but we should have a little bit of time to react. Oh, that's my car. This is property of the city. Can't touch my car. It's not your car. Oh, looks like we have some more friendly neighbors. Okay, not boarded up. Wow, we. problem. There is a, um, a cop here too. Oh, I just saw it. Ah, this bulletproof vest is in good condition actually. I guess we chopped him in the head, not in the vest. The D pistol is goated. Okay. Right, none of these are boarded up. There's a load of garages here that we can check for 
generators and stuff. Oh, somebody's in there. There's a couple of nasty ones over here, too. Alright. Let's go up and check the, uh, the posh neighborhood. There's nothing in the house, but we can check these garages. There might be a welding mask in them. Should be nice. This guy's got a spear in him. Nice. Spear with a scalpel. Very nice. All right, let's get the sledge. Let's drop some of this stuff in here. The broken axe, we got a good axe here too. How's our current axe looking? It's getting lower. We've already read that. There's a... Oh. There's a tent kit. Some box of nails. Ah, wood glue. Yeah. Gosh, there's so many of them up here. The housing authority is going to be so pissed about this driveway. What a mess. This yard is not up to code, you're right. Mm. Oh, there's no room in there for the sledgehammer. Okay. Alright, it's five o'clock. I mean, let's go get some fuel on the way home and then we can uh we can always come back in the in the uh in the morrow it was meant to rain today and it didn't so i don't know we're a little sleepy
one out of the way. You too. Not the band. <laughs> Check this out. Smoking near the pumps. Classic move. We might have a couple of friends. I removed the bush. Whoops. Oh my. Alright, so what do we have here? We have... Uh, a broken axe, a hunting knife, a nightstick, we got a wood axe, we use to chop wood, water bottles, scrap electronics, Two more Louisville maps. Okay, we're missing one Louisville map. This one in the center here, it looks like. Is that it? No. Okay, another bulletproof vest. Oh, and we had that civilian bulletproof vest too, right? How are these looking? How are my how are my cabages doing? Eighteen fresh frozen cabages. Mmm. This mayonnaise is going stale. Let's put it in the freezer before we lose it. Because we can still, once our cooking skill is up, we can use uh, stale mayonnaise and it, it'll be fine, right? Got another axe here. 
it's not going to fit in there. Our current axe is, uh, it's okay, it's okay, but we'll need a we'll need a backup if we want to go do anything. We got 20 boxes of nails. That's great. God, that's good. Okay, we're going to learn how to make a snare trap. And we're going to put this baking soda in here. <laughs> I think I'm out of matches. But I've got like eight lighters. Well-watered, flourishing, young potatoes. Well-watered. Verdant. Well-watered. These are my next... Whoa. That was close. I have to get that wood axe out. <laughs> oh, what am I talking about? I got all these planks here. I could, I could do this now, or maybe tomorrow. All right, we'll see about doing it tomorrow. We're pretty tired. No, not nothing broken. Luckily, uh, we would have had the uh, wincing in pain um, moodlet. All right, we're losing a little bit of weight. Four forty in the morning. Went to bed too early.
Okay. That's a little bit safer at least, right? Oops. Young potatoes flourishing. Mmm. They're still well watered too. Oh. What happened to all of our compost? It's everything is uh everything looks like it's eaten. We now have seven worms, but it doesn't look like there's any compost in here. Right click it. Ah, it's 11.4% full. Ah, okay, cool. So we just need a, a sack. We just need a, like one sack. I've done it. I used up all of our compost. Man, I love farming so much. I'm glad that we figured out how to do farming in this game. I'm glad that we managed to do a little bit of farming. Our farming is currently at uh, one and a bit from all of our our efforts so far, which I think is good. Yeah, that's used up all the planks. All right, cool. Well, I think what we'll do is let's grab some of these sheet ropes. Um, let's grab this wood axe. Let's uh, eat some more sardines. about fishing? Oh, we're going to do some fishing. Don't you worry. We might go uh, to a hit vids as well. I think a hit vids might be nice. Get some skill tapes. Everything clear here? Yeah. That's so good. Two chops. Farming and foraging is pretty good. Yeah. We can make some cabbage stews. I actually need an empty cooking pot. Empty cooking pot would be nice too.
There, we actually have some room to uh, not fall off now. It's good. Plant roots growing at the bottom of wood. Well, if they if they had planters, it wouldn't be a problem. You could have deck planters and grow all this stuff no problem. Let's get some strawberries and tomatoes. I have so many seeds, it's insane. Okay. Let's get this trowel. Oh, perfect. You don't even need to water any of this stuff. Okay, um, let's open these. Strawberries. Nice. Perfect. I'll put this stuff in here. Let's listen to the um, radio and see what they say. So, it's, I don't know if the, if the 9 a.m. thing is right, because when we listened to the radio yesterday, it said tomorrow morning, rain in the morning, and now it is tomorrow morning, and there's rain in the morning. So, I, I feel like maybe it's sooner. Weather period predicted to end in the afternoon, expecting light to moderate rain. So, it's going to rain from now until tomorrow afternoon. No helicopter stuff. The weather's never reliable? Um, yeah, you're probably right. What, uh, where's this broken axe? I'm gonna regret this wood glue. Alright, so we can repair this for 65%. God, that's so good, isn't it? So now we have an axe. 
in 65%. So we can attach this to our back. And this one can be equipped in both hands. So we have a backup in case we need it. Perfect. All right, we're going to need some more fuel for the generator. Actually, I think I have a couple of fuel cans left in here, but we could really do with going and having a big uh, top up, right? Oh, there's a water dispenser back here. How often do I dream about my deck? Every night I dream about it. I love my deck. We need to get a bed over to our other base as well, right? Would be good. We got high thirst, so we want to have uh, water bottles on us all the time. Can't be repaired. So, the civilian bulletproof vest gives you 30% bite, 55% scratch, and 100% bullet. The police bulletproof vest gives us... Oh, there's a hole in my lower torso. That's why my groin is not protected. I should take a, a better one. I have died to a groin bite before in this game, believe it or not. Wind resistance? So I think this one is fine. It's all the same, right? It's, I think the police ones just have a bit more insulation. But otherwise, they seem to be um, the same. Alright, this one just has a bit of blood on it, but... Our lower torso. Oh yeah, this one doesn't cover the groin. Sorry. So we need some better pants and gloves. And we probably need to wear a scarf if we want to be protected on the top side. Do helicopters still buzz? Um, yeah, there should be for about 90 days with the mod that we're using. So... We got about another month and a half of helicopter events, potentially. Young potatoes. Seedling cabbages. Young potatoes. I guess potatoes take a little while to grow compared to cab. The cabbages came up really quick. Uh, it was it was crazy how quickly they came up actually. Is that rain or is that footsteps? I'm sure, I can hear somebody. Uh, I think it's just rain on the roof of the truck.
Let's put this upstairs. We can put some tools in it. The deck makes you cry. There's not a single support beam and it just works. No, look, the, see this white thing is the is the structural component, the support beam. And it's it's built off of a house. I mean that this house is sturdy. This is a sturdy house. Make no mistake. Okay, let's do some exercise. Good exercising. All right, I don't think I have any, um, Pipe wrench, wooden mallet, wrench, propane torch, flashlight. And a wrench, just a normal wrench. Okay, we've got all of this stuff. Garden saw. Nails, cigarettes, scissors. Trowel. Trowel can go with the gardening stuff. Are we getting skinny again? Yeah, we're losing weight again. I'm just going to eat like five eggs. hasn't helped level us off and now we're full too we're full to bursting i guess there's just not enough calories in an egg to keep you uh to keep you get, getting bigger right all right so propane tanks put them in here we'll put so, like our tool stuff in here I guess god we're so tired we're so tired but it's so early tired in Toronto the dog goblin the dog goblin 3 let's watch one of these tapes Epic theme music. <laughs> nice.
God, this is an exciting tape. <laughs> Clonk. I think that's the end of the tape. All right, let's put this one back. We got a we got a VHS tape c collection. Right, what the hell can we do now? Admire our gun and knife collection. That's seven crafted spears. Oh. I can move uh, some of this uh, wearable gear out of here so that we can maybe put some of this stuff in instead. The spike baseball bat is not going to fit. So we got some backup uh, boots and other stuff. Woolly hat, winter hat, boonie hats. The spear with scalpel is not going to fit in there either. Got to start leveling up my gun skill. Yes. I agree, but uh, also um, I don't want to shoot guns and attract too many zombies just yet. We will, though, eventually. Once we have, like, a ton of ammo, we can just go crazy. All right. I think I'm all caught up on skills and stuff. I am. Let's just do some tailoring until it's bedtime. We're ridiculously tired, but uh, we can drink this uh, coffee. Try to give ourselves a little bit of a boost. So that we can, uh, we can do some tailoring on our denim shirt. sound like it was coming from the school. Maybe it's coming from the gas station. They've taken it over. We'll probably need some more thread soon. We're getting two extra percent scratch protection from uh, rip sheets with our tailoring now. It's pretty nice. All right, good. I think that was some decent tailoring. Got a little bit left. We need to collect some more stuff. Put the needle and the lighter back in here. We'll make a coffee in the morning. Let's go to bed. It's finally bedtime. Have I already plundered the VHS store? No, I haven't actually. We could drive down to uh, Muldraw and uh, do that. There's one pretty close to the uh, interest. Oh my god, I've overslept like crazy though. And it's pouring with rain again. I think it's meant to stop um, soon though, right? It's a plane. 
Is that a drone or something? And so, gonna, so this rain's going to end this afternoon. And tomorrow it's going to be clear. Okay. We weren't told about that uh, that plane. beans fresh uncooked Oh, the plane was uh, this morning's uh, radio thing. I see. So is it eight or nine that we should be checking the radio, ideally? All right, we're losing uh we're losing weight again. We're full to bursting as well. But we can eat these potatoes. Maybe potatoes will make us stop losing weight. No, nope, they have not. What? Well, no. Nope. I don't think there's been any change in these potatoes. Except that they're fertilized. But they're still just young potatoes. Hello? Why are you here? Gosh, that was close. Nine AM is the start of the day? Okay. Oh, it's must have been that plane that uh, brought them over, right? I'll go fill up some of these gas cans since uh, we need to do it. And then if we can set out earlier tomorrow, maybe we can go to the video store. It would be good. Oh, yeah. Look at all the zombies that this plane has brought over here.
I say all of them. There's like two, three. Hey, it stopped raining. Two threads just from that? Sure. I'll take it. Oh yeah, still got this water dispenser back here. That's three. Just have a quick check. I hate the uh, lack of visibility at the gas stations, but I can see why they do it too. Because uh, you, you always want that, like feeling of being on the edge in this game, right? Makes uh makes sense. Yeah, you want to be kept on your toes. No, there's no room in, uh... It's because this water dispenser is still here. Uh, and the sledgehammer, too. Pretty sure this is all pop. There's, like, no food in here, last I checked. That's why we've left it all. I think there might be stuff out in the back, though. Let me just double check. <laughs> no, I've pretty much taken everything from here too. It's a couple of empty gas cans, okay. Did we take everything out of this other van? We just kind of dumped it here. Yeah, we did. This was our this is our old I this we're going to need to get uh another replacement van soon too cuz this one is starting to get a little bit beat up. Try drinking the pop and see if it fattens me up. We just need to make some stews.
Oh. I don't even know what to do with all this stuff. Let's grab half of these, I guess. I can't walk. I hope that I hope this generator doesn't blow up. That would be so bad. Can you imagine? All right, a bit more thread. Oh, I got another gas can in my bag here too. Another garbage bag. Maybe we can just eat these chickpeas. Look at this, 2,851 calories. Let's eat half of them. Let's see if it gets us leveled off at least. No, it did not. I'll just eat the whole thing then, I guess. Okay, that's leveled us off at 77. And then maybe we can drink some pop. You're doing great, Dad. We're too full to drink pop. <laughs> Couldn't possibly. Hey, uh, JMA Phillips, thank you so much for the 200 bits. I have a tiny penis. Good to know. Thank you so much. Thanks for, thanks for telling us. It's great. Great to hear. There's another gunshot. Using a treadmill. Do 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 do. All right. Let's um. I think if we rest first. Then we won't uh, oversleep as much, right? Yeah, good.
All right, let's do a little bit more tailoring. Quite grindy this one, eh? Tailoring. I guess it's just like a slow burn. Okay, we've got loads of ripped sheets, but we do need some um whatchamacallit. Thread. We'll need some more thread. Alright, let's get this one ready to be untainted. I'll grab another water bottle. My axes are in not bad condition. I have two of them. Take some food. I, I think let's go uh, to Muldra tomorrow and we'll, uh, we'll check out uh, hit vids. See if there's some good skill tapes for us. Oh, I just heard something break downstairs, so it means that we probably have some some guests. 5.50 in the morning. We're maintaining at 77 once again. Alright, I got my coffee. Let's take a canned tomato and a canned vegetable soup, just in case. Still young potatoes and young cabbages. They're all flourishing though. All right, you ready? No, oh, maybe there's not anyone down here. All right, we're heading off at 6.20 in the morning. We're going down to uh, Muldraw, probably for the first time it, w across all of our characters. We're going as far as Muldraw. Actually, Marge went there, but it was only to uh, basically commit suicide after she'd been bitten. She drove through as well. We're actually going to potentially park up and hit the video store. The, uh, the back of the truck still has that water dispenser, stupidly, but it doesn't matter. I don't think videotapes weigh that much, so it should be fine. Yeah, we're going on a big road trip. The last time we came down here, we went to the industrial area, if you remember, and uh, the, that alarm went off. Remember the zombies triggered the alarm on that building that we didn't check? It might be worth um, setting up a, a little safe house in Muldraw as well. It's quite well positioned if we wanted to get to like West Point and it's a nice nice big highway that leads all the way to Louisville if we ever wanted to go there as well. God, whoever's been cleaning up these roads has done a phenomenal job. I mean, there's barely any zombies in the road. All the corpses except for that one, but I don't think he clean that one up. See all those expertly positioned on the side of the road, out of the way. No car flipping. You miss Jefferson so much? Yeah, Jefferson was great. Oh, shit. Oh, these guys probably migrated down from the factory, right? This looks like factory traffic. I mean, we could get out and start slaying, but we do have a destination in mind. 
and I think we should stick to it. We're going to pull these guys down here, so we'll probably meet them on the road again. If we're still not super tired, we could do a little bit of... Um, whoops. <laughs> we might have to replace the... Uh, oh, God, it's busy in here, isn't it? Look at this. We're going to have to come back down here at some point and clear this intersection, too. We don't want any more big crashes like that. Oh, a trailer! No. Okay. I think I've done it. Look at that. That's so good. Do I live on the road? I'm tempted to. After this big find. Is there anything in it? I don't know. I haven't checked. I'll tell you what's going to be in it in a minute, though. Lots of tapes. We're going to empty out that hit vids. We're going to fill the whole trailer up with tapes. Pornos up to the roof. All right. Looks like there's some suspicious activity in the area. Hitvids, I believe, is just over here. There's the diner. And then I think it's actually just through here. Uh, yeah, it's here. Okay, we're not in Rosewood, so we don't need to worry about uh, clearing, keeping the roads clear.
Nice. Two thousand and forty four kills on this guy now, by the way. Who wins in an arm wrestle, Marge or Rashad? Good question. Um, who has the coolest uh, trailer? Car combo, Marge or Rashad? That's another question for you. If you remember, Marge did have a trailer. Jefferson almost did as well. Yeah, you're right, actually. Jefferson almost did. Shall we check out this hit vids? I did it. I made a huge mess. Somebody back here? Oh yeah. Oh, here they come. Here they all come. Well, there's loads of them back here. Oh, okay. We're just a little bit exerted, but it's not so bad. We've made quite a bit of noise out here, though, I guess. This guy's got his school bag on. The Thompsons. Exposure survival? Look at all of these vids. I don't think tapes weigh much, right? Should be fine.
Oh, we're going to know so many... Oh, there's another car zone there? Good. We're going to know so many dance moves after all this is done. Okay, we're starting to get slightly over encumbered now. To be fair, I've nearly taken every tape in the whole place. There's got to, I think there might be some tapes out back too. Let's go in and check in a sec. Let me just um, dump some of this stuff in here. Actually, I should probably take a look in the trailer as well. I don't seem to be able to be, I don't, I can't look into this trailer. Oh, I just looked, it's empty. Oh, it's empty. So many true dancing tapes. I'm going to take this desktop computer. Nice. Do I think it's a 486? I think it could well be a 486. So this is uh, hit vids. Clear. Nice.
All right, we're going to need to hotwire a new car pretty soon, I think. There's a whole bunch of bad guys on this road, right? Near the industrial area. We might be able to, um, to kill them. Oh, yeah. There's so many. Sorry about the road. I don't even know how I missed that one. Okay, good. some threads we might as well if we kill these huge packs we might as well right Threads, twenty threads. Well, this guy's got a spear in him. <clears throat> yeah, this, this, uh, this road has failed the uh, quality standard for sure. Spear with a butter knife. Oh, we're sleepy. All right, another axe bites the dust. That was a good good number of uh, zombies um, destroyed there, though. Uh, that was a nice little run, actually. We did what we set out to do. We completely emptied out hit vids. Let's take all of our tapes home and see what we got. We might be able to do some reading and skilling up. I don't know if there's any thunderstorms forecasted, but... We can take a look and see.
We've got this trailer now, too. It's going to make it so nice to travel between uh, our our two bases as they stand right now. We'll be able to bring a lot of stuff. Be able to empty out that supermarket. We'll go to the back and get all those tins. Fill the trailer. Try to do some fishing. As soon as I get a welding mask, I, we can remove some of these junked cars off the road as well. gonna wash myself before I go in. All right. How many tapes can we fit in our tape library? Let's see. Quite a few. Oh my god, that's a lot of tapes. That is a lot of tapes. Repair this axe. Potentially repairs 40%. So this one has already been uh, fixed, right? We've already fixed this one. 40%. Oh, hang on a sec. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's put this bucket here. You admire my weapon storage? Thank you so much. I need, uh, I need to get to, I actually just need a bigger base. Um, <laughs> this is too small now. I've got too much crap. Way too much crap. More deck. More deck. Um, beef jerky, candy package. It's fine, all that stuff can go there. We got 25 threads, pretty good. We still got loads of sheets and leather strips. A 
another Louisville map. Okay, let's hit the treadmill. Oh my god. Okay, we have a couple of, like, uh, doubles of tapes as well. So all the doubles of tapes we can throw out, right? Magical Woodland. The title is so long, I couldn't even see. Oops. Um... Grab one. Three deaths and a divorce. So many true dancing. We're going to have so many tapes to watch. Look at that. Woodcraft, Woodcraft 5, 6, and 7. Whew. Whew. That's going to be great. Okay, let's put all these tapes in the garbage, since we already have these ones. All over again. Balan Coolin. Blood in the Hood. Car Zone Episode 1 and 2. We've already uh, done two, but Episode 1 we have not watched, and... It would be good to watch it, maybe. We can get another level in mechanics, a free level in mechanics, rather than just... Fucking grinding through it. Metalworking, we've done nothing. First aid, we've done nothing. Farming, electrical, cooking, carpentry. Be good to just get uh, to six. If we get to six, then we can make staircases and double doors, which is really nice. All right. Give me two seconds. I'll be right back.
Sorry, I'm back. Sorry, I got some tea. I did get some tea. Okay, let's watch... Um, exposure Survival? No, we don't need to watch those just yet. We should watch a Woodcraft, actually. Let's watch uh, Woodcraft... Oh, True Dancing? God, there's so much True Dancing. Let's watch uh, Woodcraft Episode 5, Doors. Before we go to bed. Uh, Woodcraft Episode 5, Doors. Whoops. We're watching Woodcraft. If we can get Carpentry 6 from this, that would be great. Well, hey, y'all just caught me working out. Got a real sweat going on here. Next time I'll shut the door. But hey, there's no door. <laughs> Guess this happened to just the right guy. <laughs> oh, man. Four planks, four nails, one knob, two hinges. Nice. Carpentry up. Now, I don't read books, but some folk do. Books need cases. So next up, a bookcase. Oh, baby. Something that looked mighty fine next to the bed of a lady. A clever reading lady with three planks and three nails. Oh, nice. Nice. Look, the boredom levels are dropping as well. So good. Next time, beds. Bang bang, ladies, and yeehaw, Woodcraft. Okay, that was episode five of Woodcraft. It didn't give us as much as I thought it would, honestly. I thought we would get a little bit more than that, but. There you go. Okay, let's go to bed. <laughs> Just doing the side sleep. Alright, so Woodcraft Episode 5 has been watched. Eight o'clock or nine o'clock? What did we say? I can't remember. I can never remember. Wow, no. We're maintaining at 77. 9 o'clock. Okay, clear skies. Tomorrow. Clear skies. All right, fine. I don't think there's any air activity either. Great. All right, um, what can we eat? Let's just eat this soup. Feeling good, man. All right, let's put this in here. Let's grab another water bottle. That's good. Um, what else? Uh, this axe is in good enough condition that I don't feel like I need to have a backup on me at the moment. I'm not really planning on uh, slaying all that much today. I want to go check out my trailer. Maybe bosh out some more um, of the deck. Um... Rashad, it's Randy. 
I was driving down the road yesterday and saw a pile of bodies. That's the error, right? It reminded me of you. Remember that time I yelled at you about all the body parts you left in Rosewood? Classic. Cla Hope you're well. Classic. I was let go by corporate. What happened? I cannot carry this water dispenser. I think it's because I've got this computer. There we go. All right, let's at long last take this crap upstairs. Supervisor Randy, thanks so much for the 10. The, the, the ongoing saga of Supervisor Randy. I was driving down the road yesterday and saw a pile of bodies. Remind me of you. Remember that time I yelled at you about all the body parts you left in Rosewood? Classic. <laughs> P.S. I was let go by corporate. I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that, Randy. But it's the way she goes sometimes, you know? It's the way of the road, bub. We have to organize these water coolers eventually. Where am I going to put my desktop computer? Oh, I have to unpack it first. I'm going to put it in the corner here for now, just until I can find a cool place for it. God, it looks awesome. I can uh, I can get some electrical XP for disassembling it, but it's just, it looks so cool, I don't want to, uh, to do that, you know? Alright, I need some uh, cooking stuff too. There was no more, um... Oh, I know where we could go. Actually, got a really good idea. I got a nice idea for today. Is it fishing? No, it's not fishing yet, no. No. Oh, I've got other plans. Got some other plans for today. Shit. <laughs> I forgot about that car. We should really move that out of the way. Oh, this poor car has had it. It doesn't even it doesn't even drive straight anymore. We're gonna have to hotwire something else soon. Whoa, that was close. It was a gunshot. Look at this one. Direct hit. Is doing a flank?
see if they left anything decent. We're missing uh, one bit of Louisville, aren't we? None of these people have watches on. Here we go. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. I think while we're here, let's just take a look in here. Make sure that we actually have all of the axes. We got another hand axe. I'm sure we do, but let me just double check just in case. Yeah, it looks like we got everything. From in here, at least. Club hammer, pipe wrench, snow shovel. We don't need a snow shovel. I don't even think we've been up here yet. Sad, eh? We've lived up here many times before, but this time we haven't even been up here. All those times. Listening to the radio up here alone. For the helicopter. Getting swarmed by the helicopter. <laughs> Big time swarmed. Alright, believe it or not, I didn't actually set out to come here today. Uh, we were just kind of forced into it because of all of the, uh, the nasty bitches along the way. Yeah, we tried to come here, but it was a bit busy. Yeah, you're right. I'm just going to check these lockers just to see if there's anything good. Somebody maybe left an axe behind. firefighter gear. Okay, I got a bed for the lake house, yeah. You can take it over there. We'll chuck it in the trailer. No, there's nothing in these lockers. I checked them already. Do 
Okay, the trailer can fit 80. <laughs> with the music. <laughs> Look how overgrown it is already. It's only been like a, two months, a month. Broken bones from carrying the bed? Yeah, it's from carrying the bed. It's quite a heavy load. They're like 20 songs playing at the same time. trailer is actually burnt down this time. Usually one of them is burnt down, or at least the past million times we've come here, it's been the case.
God, that's so creepy, eh? <laughs> that is so creepy. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> They're going in. They went in. They're coming out. It's fine. Clear. Oh, there's n some other little beds here, too. I can hear another one, but I think it's on the other side of the fence. Nope. I don't think I can hit her through this door. You just have to wait for it to come through. Whenever you're ready. Take your time. I'll take this back to the uh, the truck while she uh, breaks out of the trailer. Oh my god. Shit. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> oh no. God, that was close. Oh, there's another one. See how our friend is getting on over here. Does she get out? No. She's still working on it. Tailoring two. We don't need it. I don't need any of these, in fact.
All right, we're retired. Alright, so this place is pretty much looted. I just wanted to get some logs while I was here, too. I'm not too, uh, too sleepy. What's the zombie count? We are... 2,187. That's a record for me, yeah. I've never killed this many zombies before. I feel like um, we just kind of hit a, a point where, with our skills and stuff, where it just... It's been a lot easier, you know? Oh, there's, a, there's a couple of nasties. should head back. I know I only got one four log stack, but I guess we got like a bed and some other stuff for the other place, so it's not so bad. trailer. Gosh. We've really done a number on uh, Rosewood. There's not that many... Is that an axe? I think that guy's got an axe in his back. Come back and get it tomorrow. It was either an axe or it was a wrench. A pipe wrench. Do we still get swarmed by zombies at the farmhouse? No. Um, no, they just, there's like a trickle here and there 
nowadays. It's not so bad. ropes. Oh, I think that's the one we needed. Annotated map for Louisville as well. Yeah, we did it. Look at that. It's all done. Holy crap, the size of it. That's insane. <laughs> Our first excursion into Muldra. <laughs> we'll have one place. Hit vids. Hey, look, there's a little lake down here too. That's cool. <clears throat> this is our second base up here, which we've done a little bit more around. Lots of food. Most of it we took from the uh, from the fire station. Okay, we don't need to carry that. Spatula, kitchen knife. Um, we got a spare hand axe. put these sheet ropes in here as well for when we next go out to actually chop wood look at these things they're already like little sprouts young cabbages well watered flourishing young potatoes it's been 56 hours since the uh, last time these were watered but they're still considered well watered so it's fine the lawn is looking like shit down there, but the nice thing is the deck will never be all like overgrown, right? <clears throat> all right, let's watch Woodcraft episode six, Beds and Tables. I've got quite the bachelor pad now. I know. <clears throat> We're there, advanced carpentry. Now, I broke my bed last week. I'll spare you the details as y'all would blush. <laughs> I needed a new place to rest my head and I needed it quick. So what did I do? I'll show you. Let's build a bed, ladies. Let's do it now. Nice. Can't wait. 
Six planks, four nails, one mattress. Bang, bang, yeehaw. Bang. <laughs> yeehaw. <laughs> Hey, I'm not getting any skill ups. A large table. Oh, maybe we've watched this one already. Take six planks and four nails. Bang. I think we have watched this. Next time, I'm taking you all upstairs. Okay, we should do um, seven then. Oh, we must have done that one. That's annoying. VHS. So we watched Car Zone Episode 2, Exposure Survival Episode 8, and we've watched three dance tapes. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, so Woodcraft Episode 7 we can watch because we haven't watched it yet. All right, sure. So seven is going to teach us how to make stairs. Well, we need uh, we need carpentry six to make stairs, but. And then we need carpentry seven, I think, to make the big barrels. Oh, this is good. Look, we're getting loads of skill ups. Makes me yeehaw, anyways. A table with a drawer in it. A lady could keep her valuables in it. Maybe a Bible. Maybe a gun. <laughs> Five flanks, four nails, go. Nice. That's enough for this week. What? If you want more, I'll be upstairs. The hell? Barely got anything for that one. I think you can get some carpentry from some of the uh, wilderness uh, survival ones too, right? Let's go to bed. Oh, I didn't exercise today. All right, let's drop some of this stuff in here. Alright, that's all those planks used. Oh, look at these. The cabbages grow so fast. Look. These young potatoes. I, I wonder what the yield on the potatoes will be compared to the cabbages. I hope it's going to be incredible. 38% fuel, 98% condition. Okay, fine. We're losing weight at 77.
clear skies today. Tomorrow, we need some rain. Hopefully it rains tomorrow. Per periodical cloudy spells. Period of weather predicted to start in the afternoon. Showers and or heavy rain. Okay. Good. It is going to rain tomorrow. Nice. Just in time. And as far as we know, there's no air activity today either. This axe is um, starting to fail a little. Should be okay though. Um, we got a whole bunch of scrap electronics in our bag. Not necessary. Let's put those in there. Um, okay. Um, let's do some carpentry. I'm sure I heard somebody, so we might have some company here. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, the hospital bed is still back here. Okay. Uh, we, we might be able to fix this. I left it out here, but... Hello, is anyone out here? We could do some uh, foraging today, too, perhaps. Let me just make sure that everything is clear out here. Seems to be. Let's use this wood axe to cut down a couple of trees. I don't want to get snuck up on. I always check. Gotta have the line of sight. Right? God, the wood the wood axe is fantastic, isn't it? Holy crap, it's so good. Let's take these back. I think let's do some nice carpentry uh, today. Well, let's try to get up to six because then we can get some stairs and whatnot. It'll help us with plumbing and some more rain uh, catcher barrels and stuff would be really good too. Let's bring all this stuff over here. Let's drop this, see if we can fix it. Might be nice to fix it. How long has this guy been alive for? One month and 20 days.
he's he's been a while he's he's been a, a, around for a little while this guy Look at the size of this one. That's a big one. That one dropped four huge logs. You also dropped four huge logs? Holy crap. That's a lot of logs. I got three axes on me right now. <laughs> As you do. Clean water right next to the fresh gasoline. That is not clean water. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh god, we're sleepy already. I guess it's all the wood chopping we did. We've exerted ourselves today. I need some more storage. Shard, it's your old buddy Randy. Yes. 
Never heard back from you after my last note. No. Or any note really. <laughs> Busy living at Lake Life, I bet. Yes. Anyway, I heard about a new position up in Louisville. Oh, now yeah. I in need of road maintenance supervisors. I don't know if I'm ready for the big city just yet, Supervisor Randy. Sorry I haven't been in touch. I've been so busy. Like, you wouldn't believe it. Hey, Supervisor Randy, thank you so much for the 10 bucks. Appreciate it. This deck is shaping up real nice. This is this is shaping up to be a fine deck. Maybe one of our best decks yet. One of the best decks. I think I ran out of nails. No, not there. We're very tired. It's only 4.30 in the evening. my watering cans Okay, let's see. Carpentry. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Look at that. We got about a, a, another thousand XP to go. <laughs> it's a lot of uh, decking that we need to do. You didn't know that you could get a deck this big? It's a huge deck. I mean, it's, there's there's no do to boot it. There's support poles that are in vanilla, maybe so your deck isn't floating. Where where do you find those? Wall? Wooden pillar? A simple wooden pillar? Okay. Fine. I'll do it. I'll do it for realism. Hmm. 
You can just microwave water to sterilize it. Yes, you can. It's a it's a great it's a great trick. Okay. Um, Car Zone Episode 1. Sure. Let's watch it. We haven't watched it yet. Welcome to the Car Zone. I'm Jimmy. Let's see if we can get uh, some XP towards mechanics. And maybe we can start fixing our van instead of replacing it. Although I think, I feel like the first two levels are like pretty easy to skill up. And then after that, you're like, it's like grind central. Okay, well, we got three. Nice. Mechanics 3. Sure. We'll take it. Okay. You want to watch something else? So that was Car Zone Episode 1. We've already done Car Zone Episode 2. We've got so many uh, exposure survivals, but maybe we should read those once we get Fishing, Trapping, and Forging all up to 2. Um, there's the cooking shows. Let's watch those. Let's watch like two of them. Why not? Okay, so that's one. Cooking five. You love standing in front of a TV? Me too. So that was the cooking show one and two. We can watch three and six. So that was three, and then we'll watch six. Okay, and six, that's been watched. All right, so we're halfway, well, not not even really halfway through, almost halfway through Cooking 5. All right, so that was the cooking show. Uh, we've watched all of those now. The Thompsons, True Dancing. There's so many True Dancings to watch. Woodcraft, I think we watched uh, all of these, right? We've watched all, all of the Woodcraft tapes that we have. So it's just exposure survival. 
fishing. Okay, let's watch this one too. Why not? Okay, so we can now read Fishing 2. Fishing Volume 2. We'll put this back. Okay, Fishing Volume 2. Great. It comes at such a, a perfect time because we're probably going to do some fishing at some point. Keep putting it off. I would like to suggest a mod to look into that will add a new dynamic to the game for your next run through. Shortwave Survivors. It's like a whole new game. What is that? Oh, we overslept a little. Okay, it's meant to rain today. I think we have uh, a guest as well. Let's use this new rope. Yeah, we do. No, we don't even need that, right? Shortwave survivors adds NPCs to the game. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, we could uh, we could try some uh, some mods and stuff. I'm just happy to be still alive with this guy. It was not looking great at first. But it's nice. It, it it's really uh, the progression in this in this game is really nice. When you when you get to the point where you've skilled up with whatever you know weapon of your choice, and uh, and and it just it just feels nice, right? To to just be able to smack the shit out of anything that comes your way. Yeah, let's go cut down some more trees. We gotta get this carpentry level up. We'll um we'll kill any uh any bad guys that we come across as well, right? But we won't use the wood axe for it. Nice. It's nice too because we're opening up all the visibility in this field. It'll be great for for foraging and stuff. We we won't get you know ambushed from the trees or anything. It's it's it'll be good. Yeah, the trailer can help carry wood. Yeah. Hi, Got a bed in there too for the other dump chair. 
Where have you been? <laughs> you used to be all over me and I now I never see your sexy butt. I know. Come lie down on me soon, big boy. <laughs> Love and kisses. Hey, uh, dumb chair, thanks for the 1337. Good to, uh, good to hear from you again. It's been, it's been quite some time. <clears throat> Thank you. All right, let's drop all these. My big dumb my big dumb chair. That was uh which deck did we have that big dumb chair on? I'm struggling you know what? We should be actually looking for firewood whilst doing this, right? Looks like we found something. killing ourselves out here. Oh, there's the rain. Can you die from overweight or tiredness? I'm not sure. That I am unsure about. I think these this second round of cabbages is going to overtake these uh, potatoes at this rate. Alright, we're almost at the point where we probably won't fall off and hurt ourselves. Heavy rain incoming. My crops rejoice.
Nice. Oh my god. So much carpentry. Rainy day carpentry, too. Oh, I'm out of nails. We ha we we have excessive exertion at this point. So much so that we can barely walk. I'm going to eat uh, a whole stick of butter just to get some weight back on. There we go. Hey, Hat Films, thanks so much for the raid. What's up? Wooden floor. We almost connected uh, completely around. Okay, we still need... We still need some more wood. <laughs> but man, the deck is looking great. These are blooming potatoes. Seedling tomatoes, seedling strawberry plants. Let's watch another um, couple of tapes, shall we? We don't want any more fishing, though. Bait. And farming? Sure. Oh, this is doing fishing again. Bait. I thought it was going to be uh, trapping. Sorry. That's a bit of a waste. We didn't have the uh, thing. Okay, but farming should be fine, right? Okay, good. We got a skill up in farming.
All right, so we can start reading uh, Farming Volume 2 as well. Nice. Fishing Volume 2. I fucked up on that one, but it's fine. We'll, uh, we'll read this one tonight. What can you do with the computer? Nothing, I don't think. You can disassemble it for uh, electrician XP, but I think that's about it. God, we got so tired yesterday. Look at this sleep. Oh, my God. 10 a.m.? That's not good. It's still raining out there. No, we're maintaining at 76. All that butter. For what? <laughs> These cooked eggs. You left other computers from the 1990s? The game takes place in 1993, that's why. Any friends here? I think that's a bit better, right? It's probably a little bit better. Let me just check to make sure that there's nobody lurking. I don't think I have any sheet ropes left on me. No, I don't. Oh. 
My deck is flooding. I can hear somebody down there. Do, gro do crops grow better on the ground versus on the deck? I have no idea. I've never planted anything in the ground. <laughs> I'm too scared to go down there. I just want to stay up here where it's safe. I just play this game like it's Minecraft Skyblock. So we'll fall through these if we walk on them. So we probably want to put some fence here so that we don't walk on them. two planks. Can't believe it. Two planks, two nails, bang bang. All right, how close are we now? Skills, carpentry, oof. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. You make some, if we make some more furniture and stuff, it'll probably be enough to push us over. Be good. Um, oh, yeah. Can I get all of these extra walls approved by the housing authority? Well, I could try, yeah. You know what they're like, though. They're so obstructive that they won't let me um, do anything, pretty much.
Okay, let's eat all these beans. 76. I'm going to eat all these dried lentils. All right. Going up. That's great. Okay. Let's read. We're reading Fishing Volume 2. Oh, sorry, I keep saying Housing Authority, but I mean to say the uh, home, the Homeowners Association. I do know what HOA stands for, but I have never lived in America before. Eight AM. It's foggy. I'm going to drink a, um entire orange soda. We're 76 and rising still. Maybe this soda is going to give us the edge. It did not. The uh, clothing mac rack by the treadmill is uh, the previous owner's clothing rack by the treadmill, not mine. Uh, I can't get rid of it because I don't have a uh, welding mask still. I still don't have a welding mask. Can you believe it? Thank you. Oops. Thanks very much. That was my uh, my mailman. This axe is still surprisingly not too bad. If this uh, fog clears, which it doesn't look like it's going to, we need to go and... Uh, I mean, maybe we can go to... Now, now that we've been to Muldraw, there's, um, there's stuff to uh, check out down here, right? There's some storage lots and stuff. We got the trailer. We could we could do another excursion down here and empty out some of these storage lots. See if we can find some um, generators and such, and then we'll we'll be um, we can get more set up at our uh, fishing spot, right? The fishing base is where we're going to uh, be able to live forever, because if we can do farming and fishing, we can maintain like a a really good diet for forever, pretty much. The fishing spot is up here at Fallis Lake. We took this uh, building over. We have already smashed the uh, staircase and stuff, so it's secure. We just need to kind of furnish it and make it a bit more livable. Do... Oh my.
two percent fuel. Holy crap. Okay, eighty two percent. Now that's better. Another another little straggler. They're upset about all the new fences. They must be, yeah. All right, I think before we go to Muldra, let's go and uh, finish looting up um, the uh, the posh houses. Rosewood? Because there's a bunch of garages and stuff, right, that we still haven't really looked in. Got a steak. Not the kind that you'd want to eat. Don't I go insane listening to the same Zomboid soundtrack over and over? No, the music in this game is great. I don't find it too bad at all. I like it. All right. Mechanics Volume 1. No oh, thanks. I think somebody's in here. I can hear somebody. Oh, yeah. Oh. Nope. 
All right. That's that one done. Wood glue, yes. There's a hand scythe in here and a shovel. I'll probably just leave that stuff for now. Have I been in here already? Ah, big cooking pot. I'm gonna need this to make some uh, some stews. Good. So these two houses are done. Oops, where am I? Um, we don't need any of this stuff. We could take the, uh, we could take the racks, though. It's nice to have some more storage space, right? We've got all those weapons on the ground. Nice rack, thanks. annoying. That's, I guess we got a full bed back there too, so. Alright. I'm also looking for those two books. Carpentry 5 and Forging 5, so we might as well. Let's check the bookcases quick. I don't really care about what's upstairs. There's like there's usually guns and some ammo and stuff, but uh, we can just uh, empty out armories, right? We don't have to go through every damn house. we did that. Did we look in the uh, garage of that place?
Oh yeah, we did go in there, yeah. Gas can. No. No. There's a book in there, but I think it is just a book and a rotten peanut butter sandwich. So that's all of the um, all of the the posh houses checked. No generators, no books. Watches. I want to just check um, some of these. Uh, well, this van, really. I want to check the van. It's locked, though. Yeah. Okay, might just need fuel. Let's just see. Yeah, I have a multi hit on because uh, to begin with, I wasn't uh, overly confident about fighting and stuff. But now that I've, I've played a lot more and I feel a little bit more confident, I'll probably take it off for the next one. But it's on now, so we might as well just have it. I feel like if we didn't have it on it it would have been a bit more frustrating and I I think it's actually been kind of nice to I mean I I say learn the game like it's more like relearning it I just haven't played in a long time and I was never really that good when I did play either Um this thing seems like it's in pretty good condition let's just see how big the uh, trunk is 138 It's big though, right? It's probably quite loud. 138 versus 78. Oh man.
Yeah. It's a little bit beat up. Hey. I'm trying to do car swap here? Right. Let's put this in here. Let's put this in here. Put these in here. Let's put the sledgehammer in here. game <laughs> the trailer looks hilarious on this thing two keys missed it's okay I can hot wire cars I don't really need the keys Control on this thing is crazy. Anyone else up here? No. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Just check through here, just in case. Oh, look at this. Look at this sneaky little feller. And his bride. Let me just have a quick look. Looks fine. I'm going to put this in here. Yes. Look at this thing. 
I hear a plane. It's green. Hey, go away. It's my trailer. It might drop off some supplies. And I hope so. That'd be insane if it did. I could definitely use some supplies. Okay, good. We can put all of these on here for now. Shotgun shells. Um, screwdriver can go in there. All right, good. Oh, are these cabbages ready to go again? No, they're just young cabbages still. Blooming potatoes. Blooming potatoes that are flourishing. Do um, do potatoes ever um, produce uh, more seeds? Or do I just have to wait until it says seed-bearing potatoes? Or are the... Um, is it... Uh, are they ready to go? They have to be seed-bearing. Okay. He ate my rope. All right, we got more. We got more ropes. Um, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. We need to eat something. And then I guess we're going to bed. We're at 77 and rising. That's good.
Nice. All right, let's go to bed. We're tired. Could you um, imagine a potato-less world? I could not, no. I love potatoes. I love them so much. I love them all the time. These cabbages are ready for harvest. Where did our little friend go? Oh, <laughs> spotted him. Right. We're going to use your clothes to make a new sheet rope, Buster. Whoops. Can't get back in my base. My floating platform is inaccessible. Some wood glue? How's this axe looking? It's almost dead. Sad. Let's take this one with us on our back as a backup. Oh, actually, you know what else we could do? have a little vacation we're gonna to go to the other base we're gonna take the bed over there get a little bit more set up have a look at that gas station whoa almost flipped the car maybe we can clear the roads a little bit on our way into This is quite a fast vehicle, isn't it? Holy crap. I thought she had an axe in her back, but I don't think she did. Okay, good. Did I check the tire pressure? No, I didn't actually. No, I haven't checked the tire pressure on this. 
I do have a pump, though. We can pump up the tires. Why, are you worried that about the tire pressure? Can I pump up the jam? <coughs> I, absolutely. I'm really good at it, in fact. How much did I buy the new place for? Um, nothing. I didn't pay uh, any money for this place. Ted Danson. Andrew WK. Both of them dead. Oops. I'm not stopping for one. I'll stop for two or three, but one? That's ridiculous. I, I saw that big pile of uh, ripped sheets in the field there, but I noticed there's no bodies left. The bodies have all disintegrated. And Supervisor Randy is going to be so proud of me. Keeping the roads clean. Is there anyone else out here? Just this couple? Alright. There is something in... Oh. That guy had 20 cigarettes in his duffel bag. I'll take them.
Nice. More cabbage seeds. Oh, I didn't bring any food. All right. Well, I mean, it's good to clear out the uh, the road a little bit on the way. Whoa. Bam. I love the... Uh, I, I know that you guys don't like uh, multi-hit too much, but it is satisfying when you get a, a multi-hit. It's really good, isn't it? Maybe we can fill this whole trailer up with fish. And then put those suckers on ice. Yeah, it brought all the spears so that we can try some fishing after lunch. We got the lake. We've, we've, I feel like we've done a really good job of more or less clearing out this town. It's not totally empty, but we've killed a lot of people up here. Zombies, I should say. There's, they're repopulating. They want to take it back. We're going to have to work for our fish. I still got my ropes. Nice. Uh, I didn't bring any books with me though. So this vacation is going to be. Um, where do we want to set up our bed? We can set it up in one of these rooms, it's fine. You can always move it after. Nice, okay, good. It's a little messy in here. <laughs> it's an old... Some, we got planks and stuff, though. Holy crap, we have so many seed packets. and cr It's crazy. I'm just going to eat two cans of carrots. Alright, we'll put these with the other empty cans on the ground. 
This place has no power. Um, uh, this place has no power because... Um, wait, we want to hold... We want to equip this one in both hands. This one stay on the back. Uh, we need a generator. And it looks like... Oh, weird. Maybe these were... Maybe these are like underneath the roof here. And they didn't get... Um, any water. Weird. Let's try like that. Chat pulled and they love multi-hit. 63% of you voted in favor of multi-hit. All right. Well, that's good. That's good to know. All right, this is a, a busted axe, but we can repair this one, right? I don't think it's been repaired yet. Yeah, no, it hasn't. Okay, good. I don't have my wood glue on me right now, but uh, when we go back, we can get it. Okay, um, let me take a little break. I'll be right back, and uh, let's try some fishing. Uh, let's let's try to do some fishing while we're up here, and uh, let's go check out the gas station as well and hunt around, see if we can find um, some generators for this place and get it uh, up and running. Okay, I won't be long. I'll, I'll see you in a sec. Peace.
Hi, I'm back. And guess what? No tea. That's right. None. Not this time, baby. Scared you. Oops. Yeah, it's... Oh. I was gonna say, it's good to be back, but... I'm not sure how good it is to be back. This looks like a medical patient. What the hell? It's got a hospital gown. What the heck? Well, he's dead now. How's my pinched nerve? Sure what? It still hurts, but it's getting better every day, I would say. But it's like such slow progress. It's crazy. What the fuck was that? Anybody know? Oh man, first day of our vacation? Nice out here. Yeah, I tried changing my uh, ISP and it didn't really work. Um, we are going to... Um, I think we're just going to clear out more of the town and check out the uh, gas station. I think there's a little shed there. Could be a generator in there, I don't know. Failing that, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe one of the houses will have one. There's a couple of little sheds up around here. There's some neighborhoods, there's some houses and stuff to to loot. I don't know if there'll be much. We could check for some boarded up ones, though, maybe. I guess I could have probably just brought the truck here, too, but well, we'll just walk through. If there's anything to clear, we'll we'll clear it. Oh. Hello, what are you doing here? Huh. Maybe we do some foraging while we're here. Got all these open fields. I'm sure we could find some twigs or berries or... something? No. Oh. Plus one forging. Nice. 21.38 XP. That's good. Alright, I see some nasty bitches up ahead. This is some sort of convenience store? Oh no, sorry. This is the gas station. I think this is a multi-level one as well. This is the little, um... This is the little shed I was talking about. It looks like it's locked. I want people to find a key in here if there's somebody in here. They got the Metalwork Magazine Volume 4. A March Ridge annotated map. They got some odds and ends here. Lots of um, chocolate bars and stuff. Let's see what's upstairs. Oh, nice, nice. Look at this. What a place. Metalwork Volume 3. They got some rotten cheese in there and stuff. They do have some canned goods and a dead mouse. And some dog food. I didn't really want to take the dog food, but we have it now, so there you go. Anyone in here? No. There's a red electric guitar in here, and a shell suit jacket. No key, though. I'm going to have to come back with the sledge and just open it up.
I hear someone. Oh. Hi, do you have the key? Nope. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Can never have too many SIGs. All right, well, there's another ice chest here for when we do get a generator um, at the other base, and uh, we could use it to uh, keep our, our fish frozen. here. I'm here. What, uh, we need like a gas, a gas pump, I guess. I need a gas pump icon. Oh. Some nasty neighbors. There's a burger place there, too. Some nasty neighbors have been spotted. EP tools we've done already. There was nothing. I li I'm lying, actually. There's some fishing gear in EP tools, isn't there? couple of nasty neighbors back here too. Oh. This is quite nice over here actually. It's a high fenced area. Uh, the zombies can't jump over these high fences, right? So it's kind of it's like a good place to escape to and from. Quite a few zombies around here. All right, we're tired the coffee if I need it for another fight, but let's head home. Well, home. We'll head to our uh, our holiday home.
Nice. Well, we're almost home. Look, it's just down the road. Um, somebody didn't clean up the roads very well over here. Maybe some like sort of uh, like uh, amateur. It was like amateur hour. The road cleaning. There's a whole bunch of uh, decomposed corpses in the middle of the street. Just can't find the staff. I guess. No one wants to do a proper job these days, it feels like. All right, we'll go check the neighborhoods tomorrow. Uh, we got enough fuel at home to uh, to keep the, uh, the freezers and stuff on. And we'll have some harvesting to do when we get back as well. I wish I brought my book. I don't have any books or magazines or anything here. Oh, I didn't check the ground floor for uh, books and stuff, actually. Let me just have a quick look. It's a magazine. Don't need that. We came down here to try to get some of the furniture. Aha. All right, we can read that tonight. That'd be good. Forging four. No, nothing, nothing down here so far. There's some pay phones. <coughs> Start the CD collection. Nope, okay. It's okay, I can't read. Miss Bourbon, that's fine. We don't we don't care too much about that. <laughs> Man, Rashad is such a such an animal, eh? He's such a beast. He's just such a beast. Rashad, guess who? That's right, it's your buddy Randy. Hey Just Randy! Dropping a note from Muldra. 
I'm passing through on my way to the new job in Louisville. Nice! Sounds like there's a real worker shortage, but it's just the sort of job for a manager of my skill. Yes! Hey, um, Randy, good luck with the new job in Louisville. Thanks so much for the 10 as well. The bourbon bottles are the best water bottles? Really? What, do they hold a lot or like what's the deal? Randy, eh? I don't want to wake up too early. I know we're on vacation and stuff, but... I'll try to go to bed like at a decent hour, I think. Like 10 o'clock or something. Okay, 5 a.m. Northern Soul Spin. Holy crap. Shuffling, shimmy, rumba dancing, really twirl, raise the roof. Northern Soul Spin on the floor. Wow. That's incredible. Breakdance Brooklyn Uprock. Here we go. Well, it's, it's raining. It's raining out. It's, it's raining, it's pouring. I think it's a thunderstorm today. Oh, look at this. Who's this? The fishing spot is compromised. You believe it? Choose a catch bag, main inventory, fishing abundance, a hundred percent. I'm not sure how to feel about this. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to build a fishing cabin so I can safely fast forward. This is going to take forever. Luckily, I got keen hearing. I'll be able to hear them if they're coming. Yeah, this might be a future site of, for a big dock, yeah.
I think I think I'm catching fish. I got one. I caught one. When it says fishing abundance, can you only catch a certain amount like per day or something? Oh, certain times produce fish? All right. Can't believe I we caught a big one. home and get this thing on ice. We gotta finish our deck and stuff too. I gotta find some generators. We'll go to Muldraw to the storage uh, area and find some generators and then we can actually um, properly spend some time up here, right? Maybe even make that our, our main base since it's much bigger. Oh. It's just kind of not in a great spot though, right? I mean, it's in a good spot if we just want to go to Riverside, but if we want to go to Riverside, we should have a base in Riverside that we can stage out of, you know? Because doing all these trips back and forth all the time is annoying, right? Just load up the van with all my axes and my wood glue <laughs> and just go somewhere and, and set up. Take all my cabbages with me. Well, we got the bed set up at least. We just need uh, some generators and some fuel. We got to read some skill books too. We got more skill books that we need to read. Whoosh. Wowzers. That was close. Am I aware of the setting that moves the camera further while I'm driving? I can't remember what the button is. But no, I never use it, Dowie. It'd be cool if you could dig a pond on your deck and then if it rains a lot it would just fill up the pond and then populate it with fish and then you'd have a safe fishing deck. That's a bit far. <laughs> okay. Sorry.
home sweet home. Look at that. I see some tomato growth. I see a little bit of tomato growth. What is that fish? Small sunfish. Cook to remove happiness malice. Plus 20 on happiness if you eat this thing raw. Gross. That is gross. Okay. Let's put our CDs in here. Also picked up 14 garbage bags. Um, crafted spears. March Ridge. Grab half, grab one, place one, place half. I got 350 cigarettes in the cupboard and I'm holding 116. That's crazy. That's so many cigarettes. Okay, this has been red. Chuck this out. I'm going to microwave my pancakes. I made four pancakes, by the way. You can make, you can absolutely make coffee with a microwave in this game and in real life if you really wanted to. I made chocolate chip pancakes. Mmm. Do I ever have coffee at home? No, just tea. Mostly, mostly tea. It, well, in fact, just always tea. I don't have. I don't ever have coffee at home. Okay, um, let's grab a water bottle. We're going to read today, I think, while it's raining. Let's fill this empty bottle. Okay, 
It's going to be annoying to do uh, to do this one though because I don't have an oven. I, there's one downstairs, but my electrical skill is not high enough to try to move it yet. It's so close though. Holy crap! Ready for harvest? Seed-bearing potatoes. Okay, and seed-bearing potatoes. I got 17 potatoes from those. That's good. They took a long time to grow. This weather is wild, eh? Holy crap. Um, where is this trout last year? Alright, good. Let's get these potatoes frozen as well. A great day to stay indoors, catch up on some reading, do some exercise as well would be really good. All right, so fishing volume two has been read. What else needs to be read? We need to read farming volume two. I'm using the treadmill. Yes. Oh, you can't rest and read at the same time. Interesting. Okay. We'll make a start on farming volume two. Looks like the nasty weather has stopped. All right, we'll go to bed at 10 o'clock. We're pretty tired. Might oversleep. No. Seven o'clock on the dot. That's pretty good. That is good. Okay. Have a nice morning smoke. Eat these chocolate chip pancakes. Seventy seven and dropping. Let's have an egg as well.
There's a smoker's cough mod <laughs> for um, that's what um, I my my guy never gets like colds and stuff because uh, I think it's because of uh, out outdoorsmen. But if you have colds and stuff, you need to have a tissue in your uh, inventory because it'll it'll muffle the uh, the the sounds of like the sneezes and the coughs. And I guess the the smoker's cough mod probably makes noise as well that you'd want to have tissues for. Seven thirty in the morning. I think this is the safer way down now. Just gonna have a quick look around. You never know. Oh, I just remembered we have, um, loads of chopped down wood not too far away. Probably don't really need to drive my truck like five seconds to, <laughs> to do this, but I'm I am lazy. I am lazy. Holy moly, nice van. I know, it's a beaut, isn't it? It was just sitting there, ready to be stolen. It was just in a parking lot. We took it. So we want to unstack these. Oh, 
A fine day for some more carpentry. Look, it's like a fortress now. I can see see everywhere. Except for directly underneath us. <laughs> Which is what is going to get us killed in the end. the small roof? No, I don't know if you can actually. I don't know if you're allowed to. Oh shit, I'm out of nails. Box of nails. Open one. Almost there. I gotta break into my own house. Right onto the computer. So you want me to put a wooden pillar, like, to make it look like the actual... Okay. You know what? I'll do it. Where? Here? Okay, well, I mean, you can't even see it. I mean, I guess you can kind of see it. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess it kind of looks better. We could put another one down there. Okay, now the deck is supported somewhat. 
it's still not perfect, but it's better. It's better than it was, right? Now it looks it looks safe, you think? Oh, I, got, I left a three log stack on here too. Nice. All right, finally, that's all the wood that we chopped. Yeah, Rashad is still alive. He's still he's still kicking. Happy now, chat? Looks like it's got some supports now. Homeowners Association is pleased. Good. Glad to hear it.
Oh, actually. Composter. A w we can make a wooden chair. Double shelves. A wooden sign. A small bookcase. A big bookcase. What else do I need to make? I can't make crates, can I? I can make a wooden picket or a cross. Composter, bookcase. I need carpentry seven for the rain collector barrel. A bed, I, I need a mattress to make a bed. I can make a small or a large table. Ah, wooden crate. Oh, it looks like hell. It can fit 40 things in it, though. Oh, I got the crate stacked right up to the sky now. Okay, how far am I from hitting this? Oh, I'm so close. I'm so close. Just a little tiny bit more carpentry and I'm there. I don't think I can put these shelves here. Uh, maybe I'm missing something. Furniture. Double shelves. Two planks. Four nails. Oh, weird. Maybe it just doesn't like any of these spots. Oh, it's... Oh, weird. No. Is it trying to make these outside? Amazing. I love the, uh, it looks like we got a library outside. Will they stop rain collection? I hope not. They might. They might, you know. I can't put this anywhere. 
Oh, maybe I don't have the planks on me, that's why. Oh, that's great. I love that. I like that that just happened. That's great. Are these ready? Seed bearing cabbages. Yes. Wonderful. We got sixty three more cabbage seeds. Twenty-one cabbages. It's the tw the twenty-one cabbage salute. Perfect. All right, that's good. We did some nice uh, base maintenance today. Really good. Get this last um, bit of carpentry up as well would be nice. can't do it. It can't make the shelf. Yeah, this this room does you hate shelves, you're right. I guess you can't place a shelf like over top of existing furniture. That seems fine. Doesn't like the fact that the bed is there. <laughs> we just got shelves everywhere now. Oh, I don't want to delete all that stuff. What if there's some good stuff in there? Can you put a shelf on your fence? No. Oh, 
I better put these cabbages on ice. I got a um I got a I um uh uh I got <laughs> um I got a fish Finally. Jesus Christ. That took so long. We got it, though. Carpentry 6. So now we can make uh, stairs. We just need some more planks. All right. Let me microwave these waters. I'll just eat like a million eggs. Since I have so many. So many of them just have like nothing in them. I guess the rain barrels run out. The the small rain barrels uh, don't have a lot of um, capacity either. We want like the the big one. Slept until eight forty. I can't believe it. Okay, let's eat some canned peas. So we should be able to fill these empty bottles. Yeah, they're all full too. Perfect.
How are we doing for weight? 77 and dropping? 77 and dropping. You're so glad that Rashad is still alive? Man, me too. I am so glad that he is still alive. Okay, we need to catch up on some reading. We need to read uh, Carpentry 4 now. We also need to read Foraging 2. So we got a level in Foraging. Before we waste more skills... Let's get caught up. We gotta finish reading uh, Farming Volume 2 as well. It's okay, chat. This guy's killed so many people. Look at this. He's killed 2,304 zombies. I think he deserves to have a couple of days just farting around at his base and reading. Your dad can kill more zombies than my dad? Okay, well, fine. Fine. Okay, farming two is done. We woke up late too. Okay, we want carpentry four. Actually, we want foraging two. This is this is good. This is so good for Rashad. He's tired. Uh oh. It's the homeowners association. They're here. They hate the deck. He said those supports don't look supportive enough. Okay, 620, that's more like it. weight at 76 now. Seven in the morning. Clear skies, periodical cloudy spells. <coughs> okay, it's going to rain. Moderate rain tonight. That's fine. And tomorrow... Some clouds. Periods of heavy cloud. Weather continues throughout the day, expecting showers and or heavy rain and a thunderstorm. Holy crap. Okay, so that's uh, tomorrow. All right, let's go see if we can get these generators today then. That would be good, right? This axe is in great condition. <clears throat> We're going to go down to... Um, let me grab some food just in case we don't have any. Don't think we have any. Okay, I will grab... some things to eat.
All right, let's go. Before this nasty weather front moves in. We're going to go down to Muldra and we're going to see about getting into that one of the storage yards. So those storage containers normally have generators in them, right? We want it, we're trying to get some generators for our um, holiday home by the lake. They've ambushed us. They're trying to ambush us. Well, I'm not having it. Okay, good job. Just when you think the job is done. This is unreal. This is unprecedented. Two thousand three hundred and thirty big ones. to keep the streets clean. Pile them up nice on the side of the road. It's not safe on the side of the road where I've stopped, unfortunately. Oh, just lost an axe as well.
All right, well, we're just going to have to get the cleanup crew in to do this one. What can you do, eh? It was too risky. There was too many trees. On the road. Yeah, sorry. Supervisor Randy is probably spinning in his grave. Still haven't heard from him. Did he even make it to Louisville? Probably not. Don't underestimate his power. The power of Randy Bobandy. Randers Bobanders. Okay, we're approaching the scene of a massacre. <laughs> this is a hell of a gosh. It's already been that long. It's already been long enough where most of the bodies are gone. I think most of those ones I, uh, I stripped for thread as well, didn't I? Destination, we're going to Muldra to, um, to hit some uh, storage units. See if we can find some generators for the uh, second base. Let me get some fishing going. I think the the storage unit is if we take the first turn I mean hit vids is done we've completely gutted it we got every tape from hit vids in Moldra so we wouldn't need to go there again I'm pretty sure this will connect up with sort of the industrial units and stuff down here. There's a gas station here. Oh, maybe not. I could be... I guess I'm wrong. Ah, maybe this road does, actually. I think this is the one. Don't know what building this is. Here's the hit vids. There's a police station here. I don't know what all this is. It's busy. I think I've gone the wrong way. I don't think we need to be this far into Muldra. Sorry, officer. Okay, this is the hit vids. There's like a, an area further down here that we can potentially get to. I just don't know how to get to it. Is it on the other end of this field?
No, maybe it's down here. Yeah, uh, this could be it actually. The rusty ripple. Oh yeah, this is like the warehouse area. Okay. There's a warehouse in here that we can check uh, for a welding mask as well. We still need one. T boys. <laughs> T boys. Looks like she's all locked up. It's a window over here. brought one bottle with me that's pretty dumb whoopsies all right let's have a look let's see if there's anything decent here there's a lot of crates Yes, please. I'll take that. Ooh. That, that is good to know. There's an antique oven here. Okay. Put this here so that we know that there's an antique oven here, okay? There's crowbars and stuff, safety goggles, there's a hand axe, we'll take it, there's a pickaxe. I mean, we can get this stuff. We'll just we'll we'll just have to come back here, I think. Cause we're we're kind of just looking for really specific stuff at this point, I'd say. Whoops. No. 
club hammer, crowbar, dust mask. No. I need to get into here. That's so loud. Propane torch? No, no, no. Whoops. Well, I actually got one. I can't believe it. No. Uh, there's some at the back here that I could try to get into as well. Uh, I got another one. I've, I can't believe it. Okay, let's see. No, no, no. A hand sight, though. Paint. No, nothing there. I think, uh... I think I can hit everything from back here, right? Yeah, I can. Okay. So, no, no dice. But there is an antique oven here. Which is pretty good. We'll have to come back for it. Okay, these crates, let's take them. We'll use them at home. Um, let's get in the... Uh... Alright, storage yard should be just over here. Next to all these trailers. There it is. I got the sledgehammer for these doors if we need it. How's this axe looking? Oh, it's fine. Anybody got a watch? No. Unbelievable. Nobody in this town wears a watch. Ah, oh, finally. Hey, Arctic, thanks so much for the uh, for the five gift subs. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, God. I'm getting tired. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> There's some in here. Oh, here they come. No Jenny. Nope. That one's empty. Wowzers. Gosh. No. We'll still check all these. Ah. All right. We got one. We got one Jenny from the block. Yeah. We're pretty tired, but hopefully there's not too many zombies left. Alright, well we know there's one in here. out of here so many boxes all right two generators that's what we wanted. For the holiday home. And for the gas station by the holiday home, right? There might be some more stuff uh, 
down here that we should maybe come back and check out. But for now, we'll take uh, we'll take our win. We'll take we'll take our win. Shall we? It's nice. Uh, we've done this uh, already today too, where we've we've actually had set out with a very specific goal and uh, actually achieved it too. And we finished the deck. The deck is done. We're going to have to start making a... Oh, we got a wood axe for the other base as well. It's so good. And we killed 2,393 zombies so far. Yep, the deck is done. We're gonna have to clear this mess out at some point. We'll have to bring. We'll have to do uh, our best uh, road uh, crew. We we'll have to fill the. Uh, we'll have to fill the truck up with propane tanks. Get down here with our torch and welding mask when we finally find one. I can't believe there wasn't one in that little warehouse. We found. Uh, we've got uh, an antique um, stove though, which is pretty nice. I think they're they're meant to be good for the winter, right? They heat heat uh, your house and and you can cook on them. God, I want to stop and kick all their asses like so bad, but I know I'm too tired. I drank all my whole coffee. That uh, that that little storage warehouse, what a massacre, eh? Holy crap. It just looked like hell on earth in there when we were done. God, that's gross. Somebody left a huge pile of corpses right in the road. And then further along, it looks like maybe they had like a shift change mid-shift. Maybe the guy who was doing his job properly, like uh, here, for example, got a bit sick and had to go home early. And then they just got some clown in instead who can't even stick to the, to the guidelines, the municipal guidelines. Blame the supervisor. Yeah, I think I will. Well, we're back. Holy crap. That's perfect. Whew. It's a big deck. I know it's a. It's one of the probably one of the biggest decks. 
This uh, axe is still in great condition, actually. It's fine. We got lots of lots of hand axes. Some of them aren't in amazing condition, but still good to have them, right? If I repair this, oh look at that. Hand axe with wood glue, 70%. Back to 70%. That's nice that you can get a little bit more life out of the weapons, because at some point I suppose we'll probably um Need to find another firehouse, right? To stock back up on uh, axes. Have I ever found a katana? No. No, never. What, uh... What, uh, what skill does that come under? Long blade? Katana? What's the... What's... What's, um... What's the deal with the katana? There's... They're adding blacksmithing uh, in the new build. You'll be able to, like... Forge your own weapons and stuff. You'll be able to find ore in the uh, in the ground and make like uh, big kilns and stuff. Katanas spawn on Z's after about three months, but you can still find them. Sometimes they have them in pawn shops. Oh, cool. All right. Let's, let's smash out the rest of this book. We'll have a, another lazy day tomorrow. We'll recover from the... All the festivities today. We got to read that carpentry book too, right? And then after we've had a rest, we can go and take those generators and get the second base hooked up with some power and whatnot. Tomatoes are growing. Okay, so we want carpentry four. Night, whoops. Okay, that's fine. All right, good. We're back up and running. 
It looks like all of our stuff is still fresh and frozen, including this small sunfish. We can keep this frozen pretty much forever, right? And just defrost it all when we're ready to, to eat it. Just defrost like two potatoes, one cabbage and a fish at a time. And then once we have uh, access to uh, like an actual oven upstairs, which I think we'll have in our second base, we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to make some uh, some some stuff. Things still rot while they're frozen, just really slowly. Okay, good, good to know. Okay, we can leave that for now. It's fine. All right. How do you get to the second base? I just drive there in my in my van. I just take my van. Reading is cringe. Let's pump some iron. Look at this storm. This is the thunderstorm they fork. Oh, it's fucking pouring out there. This is why we went to Muldraw. We went before the weather hit. All right, nice. Carpentry 4 is done. So, we just need Carpentry 5, and I still haven't found the book, but we're not going to need it for a long time because these next two skill-ups in Carpentry are going to take forever, right? Tailoring, we're almost there with another skill-up. Farming, we're pretty close. Electrical, we're not too far off. A little bit more dismantling, and then we should be able to move some of the bigger appliances. Um, cooking doesn't matter; it'll just happen. And then fishing, we're on to we've read volume two, and we're into um, three and four. Trapping, we haven't done any of, and forging, we've done a, a a little tiny tiny bit. Yes, I can build stairs. Yeah, which will be really good for um, well this base. And uh, and also for the uh, for the other base too. We could build stairs to get up onto the roof, and then we could place some uh, rain barrels up there. When uh, when we can actually make them, we need another carpentry skill up. I think we need to put some weight on. Yeah, we're underweight at the moment. There's 10 calories in a tin of carrots. Holy crap. <laughs> Look at all the calories in this pasta. There's quite a few calories in pop as well. Let's just chug a whole bunch down and pee in our pants all day long. We can uh, we could just drink some vegetable oil. 
We got three of them. 2,120 calories. Might be good. We can eat brown sugar. There's some rice vinegar here too. Peanut butter has got loads of calories. Let's just eat all this peanut butter. Okay, there. We're uh we're gaining weight. <laughs> oh man. Good. Oh, I still got the sledgehammer on me. Can your character get I your character can get fat, yeah, you can get overweight. I don't know if it actually looks like he's fat though. Like I don't think your appearance changes, but you'd get debuffs for being overweight. Like you get you get tired a lot more quickly and stuff like that. Okay, um, why do I have a worm in my inventory? Okay, so I've got a wood axe here, and I'm taking a wood axe with me. Cigarettes, sheet ropes, these can stay here for now. We got a little bit of food just to keep us going till we get there and we got the uh, the sledge as well and this stuff is fine to just uh, to grow here for a little while okay all right well let's go then we're going over to the other base yes it's raining but it's fine hopefully it can wash some of the blood off of the truck Ah, oh, shit, I forgot to bring the cooking pot. It's a cooking pot with tainted water right on, on the floor of my house. Well, oh, that's annoying. Okay, we'll grab the, uh, the um, ice cream freezer from the gas station. And uh, I think the first thing we'll do when we get to uh, Phallus Lake is... Let's get the uh, uh, the gas station online, right? And then we can, uh, well, we can fill up the truck. And then we've got some uh, empty gas cans that we can fill up to keep the generator running over there, too. <laughs> that was close. Yeah, 
Yeah, we got um, zombie respawns turned off. I just like the idea that the longer we play, the, we can we can actually clear them out. You know, it feels it feels like more fun to like I don't know make progress like that. I think uh, on on the settings that I'm using, there's like fifty two thousand zombies all across the map. We've killed uh, two thousand four hundred of them. Sorry. <laughs> Somebody's meant to be clear clearing these roads. I They're infested. There was like a road supervisor at one point that was responsible for keeping this place clear. Whatever happened to him? Oh, shit. They're moving back into my town. I don't like it. Alright. Oh. I guess we didn't fill the other one. All right, good. What's that hooked up? It's like going to your cottage for the weekend. This 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 uh, area has like sort of uh, weekend cottage vibes to it as well, doesn't it? 
a little. <laughs> Surface a <are> crystal. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Let's take these crates up. All right. It's, uh, it is 20, 20 frames, uh, 20, so hopefully we can, uh, get the kitchen powered up from here. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a radius of 20 from the generator. So we'll see. Oh, there is not an oven up here. Fuck, I thought there was an oven. Shit. No, oh, I still got these crates on me. I just wanted to uh, kill whoever's out here. Oh, it's you. What are you doing in here? Oh, there's a couple of them. Hey. Don't need every thing on. So we got a we have a freezer here. So we don't necessarily need the uh, the ice freezer. We could just use that, and then we need to grab an oven, probably just from a house. Once we have the uh, ability to actually get one and move it. And then we've got some work to do here as well. We need to make a door frame. Oh yeah, and these crates need to go down too, right? Where can I put these crates? Where's a good... Uh, okay, we'll sleep in here. Maybe we can make this like a storage room. All right. Let's put the wood axe in here. Uh, let's unpack this crate as well. So we're, we've got so much weight on us that we don't necessarily need, right? Put another crate here. And then we can disassemble. Oh, thank you. Thanks very much. Oh, that's great. I got some... Uh, Tea chat. I got some tea. Thank you. Okay. Aha. Okay, and then I'll clean up all this crap on the uh, on the ground too, right? Tea boys. Hell yeah.
All right, let's put this bin in the kitchen. Oh, that's good. Okay. We'll put it just in the corner here. That's fine. We've got some stuff that we can put into containers. Do I need sheets on windows to not attract the neighbors? Yeah, pr probably, but I'm not too worried about it. We're not going to have any neighbors soon because I'm just going to kill them all. We've already killed a lot of people around here. There's not that many left. And yeah, they'll hear the generator no matter what, so it doesn't it doesn't matter. Okay. So the Sledge needs to go back in the van because it's a uh, it's a traveling sledge. Screwdriver can go in here. Actually, we can dismantle some more of these doors and stuff. We don't need any doors up here. Nice. Okay, good. We have a, a door to the outside. We got a couple of bookcases. How many uh, books can you fit on one of these ones? 40 and 40. Okay fine. I don't think I can pick up these uh, papers. I don't think I can do it. Put all this crap in here. Stash some guns. Here next. Ends right here. Oh. Okay, let's hang on to this. It looks like there's some guns in this house. We can we can track it down. Yeah, we got a treasure map. If I uh, if I destroy the uh, light switch, how is it possible to to make lights? Or or no? 
you have to just use whatever the uh, the lights are like in the house. No. So those roof lights and stuff don't actually, and floodlights, they don't actually give light. They don't work. Floodlights work. Oh, they don't connect to your switch. Right, okay. I'm not usually one to brag, but I've just pooped the biggest poop of my life. Nice. I have to tell someone, and I knew you would understand. You know what? That's worth bragging about, sore pooper. Thanks so much for the 1337, and thanks for letting us know as well. Gosh. That's great. That's really good news. What great news, eh, chat? Sore pooper has done it again. Really good work, sore pooper. Okay, I think it's. I think we're pretty tidy here. Um, we don't need any of this crap on the ground. Um. Just put all of this yeah great all right let's go to bed Let's have a quick smoke first. Okay, now we can go to sleep. We can go to sleep and listen to the soothing sound of the rain. Gonna eat a canned corned beef for breakfast. Mmm. That's nice. Um, and I'm also going to um, load this sledgehammer into the into the truck at long last. Whoops. Oh, I'm dead. What is this tree? Why am I looting a tree? The tree is alive. Oh. Okay, I gotta chop these trees down, actually. It's uh, really quite annoying. I love these outside lights, though. It's nice. All 
or I check it. Um, mummy? Um, can we make another sheet rope? Yep. The, the weather is turning. Guess what time it is, chat? Oh shit, I didn't bring my box of nails. Uh oh. Is this wood axe okay let me put this back uh, the sheet ropes hang on a second <laughs> it's a deck building roguelike yes okay sheet ropes even while on vacation Rashad can't help himself I, this guy just wants to build decks he, this guy just wants to build all the decks. I've only got 28 nails on me. That's a, that's a shame. I could go. I'm pretty sure I took all the boxes of nails from EP Tools. Rashad, it's Randy. I um, I might be in trouble. <laughs> Turns out there's a worker shortage up here for a reason. Um. I'm holed up in a cafe just <laughs> south of Louisville. I'm down to two cans of spaghetti bolognese and have started bottling my piss. Send help. Oh my god. Uh, Supervisor Randy. I'm so sad to hear about the predicament that you've found yourself in. That's awful. There's the rural supply. Um, 
There's this parking lot back here. I want to get to these houses. Behind here. There's lots of potential vans here. So, oh. Alright, let's start having a look around some of these houses. Not a lot of people wear... There we go. They don't wear a lot of watches out here. Maybe it's like because time uh, stands still when you're out in the country. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. There's so many houses to look in. All right. Well, we better make a start. Electronics Magazine Volume 2. No, we don't need any of those. There's a big hiking bag here. A hammer, a leash. Sewing kit we don't need. Goes outside. Huge bathroom, Jesus. Oh, wow, the kitchen actually has a door to it. Aha! Alright, let's get some uh, kitchen utensils for this place too, right? I think while we're doing these houses, we want to dismantle TVs and radios. Anything that'll give me some uh, electrical skill would be good. I mean, we need to dismantle stuff for carpentry as well, but it's that's a that's much of a it's a much more slower burn. You know, there's not even a fucking TV in this house. What the hell. Nah, I don't, I don't think I need curtains. I think I'm fine for curtains. I think I'm just going to leave it. Because the generator noise is just going to attract them anyway. Okay, this one has a TV, at least. We want some... Oh. Good. Cooking five? Oh, so close. We've already read this. So we need carpentry five and we need foraging five.
All right, this house is done too. They added staff to restock your shelves in supermarket sim? Yeah, I saw that. Any good? Electronics. Good, a little, uh, a little fridge here. This one's done. A lot of houses in this neighborhood. alarmed. Have we had any house alarms yet? Farming five? Don't need it. Close though. I don't know if I need it. I'll grab this though. I've already read it. Okay. No TV in this house? Again? Oh, what's in here? Bathroom? This one's done. There's some zombies there. God, they, this is like... I, I don't even know if this is worth doing. I guess it's... I guess we're getting the... Uh, the uh, electrician XP. But... It doesn't seem very worth doing. I just hit a tree sampling. <laughs> Get the antique oven for the base. Nah, I don't need it uh, just yet. I mean, I know where it is. I can go get it if I need it, but I'm fine for now, I think. A 
Whoa. Jesus. Some hot sauce. Hey, uh, Bodeca, thanks so much for the 10 pound super. When I watch, I rip my D off. This, what is this guy doing? Why is this guy doing that? Download this game, got slapped silly. I'm sorry, Dad. Big love, first time dono 12 year viewer. <laughs> I'm getting that a lot <laughs> for it, when I play this game. Everybody's like, fuck yourself. What the hell? You don't know what you're doing. You're doing it all wrong. Uh, by the way, I had to turn off the zombies. I was so scared. They kept killing me. I just wanted to go and explore and build my base. <laughs> Alright, well. Now we're tired. Another one bites the dust, I guess. We made a good start. We made a good start. We probably got some XP for uh, all of the uh, disassemblies. Yeah, I like multi-hit as a concept. I think it makes sense for, like, big weapons. Like, if you were swinging a massive axe, you would probably hit a couple of people if they were bunched right up, eh? I feel like, but at the same time, I mean, I, I, I'll i probably turn it off uh, next time we play because I, th I think I'm just a little bit better at killing stuff now. Or maybe that's because of multi-hit. I don't know, I, I feel like... I feel like we we definitely get a couple of multi hits, but I don't feel like we are super dependent on it either, you know? Or maybe we are, I don't know. We're going to want to make some, some big fish stews. We want to make some huge fish stews. Okay, these other kitchen knives can go in here. Ah, this place is is great because it's so roomy. Gosh, it's really good. All right, let's make some spears. These spears are we're gonna use them for fishing. when we do some fishing. Okay, we're not going fishing right now. We're too tired. We're too tired to go fishing. And we also would probably like to get um, more of like a secure area for 
fishing, right? So that stuff can't just sneak up on us all the time and kill us while we're in the middle of fishing. And then we can speed up time while we're fishing as well, which should be nice. Holy crap, I haven't read these. That's great. True Dancing episode 6 here as well. Fuck, let's watch it. We got a TV. What are we learning? I think I might have known this one already. True Dancing Episode 6, Arm Wave 2. Yeah, I definitely knew this one already. Alright, good. Let's keep the tape. We'll chuck the magazine out. Chuck the magazines out that we read. We don't need those magazines. I was hoping to find uh, a couple of boxes of nails in some of those houses, but I don't think we're going to find them. So this is the gas station. This is where we are now. Uh, this is uh, EP Tools. This is the rural outfitter place. And this is the food mart. Round back, we can take the trailer and just empty out. All the cans and stuff are in the back. So we want cans of stuff. We get it. This is the... Um, medical place. And then there's houses, houses, houses. I think this is a police station or bar, police station. And then I think there's a bar here we didn't go into. And then we've been back around here to some of these houses. There's a church here that we haven't been into. And this is like a... Both of these are like little shops, I think. No, this is a restaurant. We've done the restaurant. And this is a little shop, and it still has some, like, junk food and stuff. In it. Oh, no, it doesn't. It had, like, clothes and stuff in it. But we checked it out. I'm sure we checked it out. There's another little lake here. Like a, It's more like a pond, I would say. And then we've checked this. That's the bookstore. And what's this? Or is this the police station? I don't know what this is. We'll have to go check it in the morning. I can't remember what it is. You like how phallic the, uh, the, well, it is called, uh, Lake Phallus, so it does look like, uh, like, a like an alien penis. It does, it looks like a wiener, but like a, an, a, an upsetting wiener. It looks like that beast that uh, lives in that uh, asteroid in Star Wars, you know, when they they land the Millennium Falcon and they have to get out of there quick because actually they're in the belly of the beast. You know, the one? Do you know the one? Can't believe these pickles never go off. Incredible. How's our weight looking? 76 and rising? I did not hit the spot. 
Okay, let's open up mushroom soup. We might need to head back. We might need to go back and get some um, nails and some other supplies. Okay, we don't need to leave that on. very tired so we don't really want to be stopping the the van at any point looks like the ho oh it's a laundromat okay I'm not sure I think that must be the police station then right across the road I gotta clean up these roads again. I can't believe it. No sooner are they all cleaned up, you get a message from your old supervisor saying he's drinking his own pee in a basement in Louisville, trying to survive, and the roads are infested again. close. We're, we're very tired. At least we're not ridiculously tired. Randy should build it. Yeah, Randy should build a deck. He could be drinking piss on his own deck rather than in a in a cellar or a bunker or where, wherever he is he could be he could be way up high living the dream We're almost home. Oh. I don't want to dent up my <laughs> my new car. It's pretty dented up already. No, we're not there yet. We're almost there. Very soon. Don't you dare sleep. Wait till we get home to go to sleep. Stay awake. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Good. Good to be home. Great to be home, actually. Okay. Um... Let's just eat some of this crap. These little craps. Jelly beans and whatnot. We're all caught up on skill stuff, right? Oh, we're so close with electrical. Look at that. Not much more to go the electrical and then we'll be able to move uh, an oven upstairs in the uh, in the other base and in this base too it would be really nice to have an oven up here and then we could make some stews and stuff we have all this uh, we have all this fresh produce that we could be using in stews we just need some meat maybe we do some foraging and trapping and stuff too That'd be good Let's see what we need to do some trapping what uh, what's what kind of baits do I need to use? Or maybe I just experiment a bit and see what I can get with what? Cabbage is good for rabbits and cheese is good for rats. Fresh cabbage works fine for rabbit bait. Nice. No, I didn't watch this week's curb, um, Eric. I didn't watch last week's either, actually. I'm behind. I'm going to let them pool up a bit and then uh, watch them all at once. I like doing that. Create a coffee beverage. I put a glass beer bottle in the microwave. It's probably fine, right? Oh, it goes quick. I guess there's not as much uh, stuff in there. There's not as much water in the beer bottle, I guess, right? Young cabbages, seedling potatoes, young strawberry plant, and young tomatoes, too. So far, no diseases on any of my plants. I hear someone. Maybe it's just the wind. Yeah, look, the erosion is is getting uh, it's getting pretty pretty severe, isn't it?
Sir, I'm pulling you over today because uh, we don't want any dead bodies in the road. We want them on the side of the road. Did I check my trailer tires? No. I haven't checked them. One's got a hole in it. I'm not going to take it. Check fashion a bell. Can you check? Oh, weird. How do you, uh, how did I just check that? You can actually check the mannequins. They just got lumberjack shirts. Oh, you open the inventory thing at the top? Let me try this. Oh yeah, baggy jeans. What do these guys got on? Denim shorts, pants, and a small bundo. A small bondo. Oh, I love a bondo. Oh. Um, where's my food? Oh man, I didn't bring any food. Rosewood Medical. No. Haircuts and more. You want to go see where this uh, gun house was? It's down here somewhere. I think it's one of these. It could, it might even be this one. I, I knocked her wedding veil off. That's so weird. Um, right. Where's that annotated map? It's in here. This guy's walking like I am with my, uh, neck pain. That's how I walk around now. Uh, it's like diagonal from the school. 
It's not quite here. You're doing great, Dad! Mayday. 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 This is Randy Ackerman, supervisor in distress, to any nearby road maintenance crews. <laughs> I'm trapped in a broom closet and there are zombies on the other side. I need urgent assistance. Mayday. Mayday. <laughs> Mayday. 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 It's this one here, I think. It's. I think it's this one. They got a little BBQ out. Hey, uh, Supervisor Randy, thank you so much for the 10. Sorry, I'm nowhere uh, near your uh, location at the moment. I, I cannot... Uh, I can't uh, answer the uh, Mayday call. Better luck on run 13, Randy. Oh yeah, look. What's this? It's a locker, but there's no guns in there. There's no guns in here. I'm sure this is the right one. Oh, maybe it is the one next door. Maybe it is this one. Let me check. This one has an American flag outside, so maybe it is... Oh, yeah, look, this is probably it. You can see a lot of beer bottles and cans in there. Oh, shit. Forging five. Okay, we are missing one book on Rashad.txt now, and it's Carpentry 5. Alright, well, maybe the guns are stashed in the garage, I don't know. Welding mask. Oh, that is great. That's great news. Oh well. Permission to pog. Permission granted. Please, by all means, pog the night away. There is a distinct lack of zombies in Rosewood. I think we've done a pretty good job down here. I think we've really taken out the trash. Big time. Yes.
Yeah, we gave up on uh, on those guns because I don't think they were there. Three watches? Oh my god. Hey, what are you guys doing over here? The party's this way. There's a news van there. Whoa, that looks like it's in pretty good condition. I bet you this one's in perfect condition. I mean, it was in good condition until I smashed the window. Oh, look at that. It's perfect. That is in really good condition. Let's just check to see how spacious the trunk is. Thirty-six. I don't think it's as good as ours, actually, in terms of uh, trunk space. You think it is, Dowie? One hundred twenty-six. Ah, uh, it's only ten. It's a lot of effort for ten for 10 spaces. Well, we got a welding mask. We could finally disassemble stuff. More stuff. That's exciting. How many kills? 2,457.
We got a welding mask. Am I going to try WoW's new Battle Royale mode they announced today? Um, uh, probably not. Well, maybe. I don't know. Maybe when my uh, neck is feeling better. I can't play anything too exciting in case I mess up my neck. Like, what if I get so excited that I hurt my neck again? Okay, now that we have a propane torch, we can dismantle some of this stuff. So our metalworking skill has gone up by 26 XP. That's great. Oh yeah, I put all my, my medical stuff in here. But now I got more space to store stuff. How's this propane torch doing? About half. Can you not disassemble those? this cooker but I can't do it yet I need electrical three which I'm very close to getting by the way very close some rotten stuff for outside. Ooh, look at those tomatoes are looking exciting.
Okay, let's put Foraging 5 with the other books. So I'm just missing Carpentry 5 now. That's great. Man, that is so good. I can't believe I've got so many so many nice books. 76. Can you compost the zombies? No, you can't. You can't do that. You're not allowed to do that. That can't happen. I got lots of shotguns. I do actually have a lot of shotguns. Twine. Let's put these things in here too. Um, scrap electronics. This we have a cooking pot. Let's fill that with water. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Let's watch. Exposure, Survival, Episode 3, Farming, Episode 4, Fire. Yes. That sounds great. Oh, we're getting carpentry for this. Nice. How much carpentry skill did we get? Ooh, a fair bit, actually. God, seven will be great. We'll get the bigger rain barrels. We'll have so much water. Just takes a little while, unfortunately. Um, right, so that was episode four of Exposure Survival. Episode five is Camping. And episode six is Trapping. Right, let's watch both of those two. Okay, so camping gives us carpentry and foraging, but mostly carpentry. And episode six, trapping, I'm assuming is just going to give us loads of trapping. All right, so we've got trapping. So we can read trapping too now. Good old Dean, eh? Good old Dean coming in clutch. This is all junk in here. All right, so trapping two we want to read. Uh, but we'll start reading it um, tomorrow because we're too tired now. And it's late. And it's raining. We had a big sleep. All right, chat. Man, what a day. We 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 got loads done. We got two generators for the uh for the second base. We activated another gas station over there and we have a generator for the uh for the house itself. 
we uh, we fished a little tiny bit, but it was pretty fun. We found a welding mask um, randomly. I was looking for guns and found a welding mask in somebody's garage. So that's great. We can actually start disassembling other stuff. It's been good. We killed a lot of zombies today. We went to Muldra. We emptied out the hit vids in, in Muldra completely, every tape. So we've been watching those. And we went back down there to hit uh, a warehouse and a uh, and a storage yard, which, which is where we got the uh, generators from. We cleaned up the streets along the way. Um, man, what else did we do? We cleared out the whole um, posh neighborhood in Rosewood and uh, and killed a lot of zombies in and around Rosewood. We hit the, uh, the barricaded house as well and got uh, some bits and pieces. Nothing, nothing major, but we'll have to find some more of those. I think um, we'll carry on skilling up, exercising and stuff, fixing these axes, and uh, maybe we can hit Riverside pretty soon. See what's... There's a hit vids there, and there's a, some other stuff worth checking out for sure. We're only missing one book, Carpentry 5. We hit Carpentry 6 today as well, so we can now make stairs. We're trying to hit Carpentry 7 so that we can make the big rain barrels. I've been uh, collecting as many garbage bags as possible so that we can get a really decent water supply because we're still microwaving water and just kind of farting around with all that. But it's slow progress, but it's good. We've killed uh, like 2,400 zombies as well. It's We've, we've been on a, on a rampage this week. It's been great. Listen, I'll be back tomorrow. And uh, we'll resume then, yes? Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate uh, all the support as usual. Thanks for the subs, resubs, gift subs. Thanks for all the donations. Uh, thanks for all the Supervisor Randy donations. They've, been, they've all been very funny. And I appreciate all the donations as well. Thank you for the supers. Thanks for watching on YouTube if you're watching there. Thanks so much for watching on Twitch if you're watching there. Have a good one. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And um, I'll see you tomorrow morning for some more, yes? All right, chat. LOL, lots of love. See you then. Peace. Bye now. Bye.